Hello and welcome everyone to Clash of Champions for week three. I am joined as usual by the wonderful, amazing, talented, beyond reproach, Virum. How are you doing today, good sir? Oh, Margin, you're far too kind. I don't, I don't think I've done enough to deserve all of that, but <laughs> I am once again glad to be here. Excited to see some incredible Grand Blue Fantasy versus action, as per usual, here on Clash of Champions. Yeah, we got some really good matches today. Uh, come, well, hopefully, I mean, we got good matchups. Let's put it. Let's put it that way. Um, you know, last week uh, I think the main story was Swampen overcoming his demon Fittison uh, with a convincing result. So, uh, gave the lad a bit of a rest. So Swampen is on his break week this week. Uh, but we have some really good matches lined up here. The first one is going to be Savid versus Dragoy. Um, Definitely going to be interesting to see how these two uh, go up against each other. You know, Savid has uh, been trying to prove himself here in Clash of Champions, and uh, Dragoy is probably the roughest matchup to prove yourself in, I think. But, you know, uh, it's a round robin. You have to fight everyone. Yep, yep. It is definitely going to be a tough matchup for Zavid. But I feel like... Uh, I feel like Zavid's potential hardest player matchup in Citizen is, is done already. I yeah. feel like... For a player of Zavid's playstyle, I think someone like Fittizen is one that will kind of dissect him a lot better. So going into Dragoy may actually be a little bit easier on Zavid. He may mm -hmm. be able to, um, he may have a real, a real fighting chance here. If there's anybody that could create a potential upset here against Dragoy, uh, I think it might be Zavid, but you know, it, it is a bit, it is somewhat wishful thinking, but <laughs> I never ever want to count Zavid out. I think he's a very, very, very good on the Zoe. I mean, definitely. Uh, like, I don't think it's controversial to say Zavid is the underdog here in Clash of Champions yeah. 4. Uh, Zavid would say the same thing himself, but he got here for a reason, right? Like, mm -hmm. he qualified in, not just, he qualified into uh, contenders to begin with, and then through contenders qualified into champions, so you know, uh, definitely, uh, definitely here to prove himself. And I think what we've already seen from Savid is some of that mental fortitude. Uh, really appreciate that. Uh, so hopefully we'll see more of that here up against, uh, Dragoy. Even, even though Dragoy might not be the number one, because I, uh, I mean, number one player, maybe, but number one uh, threat for Savid, because I agree with you, Fittison's playstyle is probably the roughest one for Savid to deal with. Um... Also, uh, we have uh, late, later on we will have Fittison versus Dudakov. Uh, kind of interested to see what characters these two pick. And uh, the climax match of tonight is going to be Sonic Sound versus Mr. Pow, a real classic. We've seen that one so many times in tournaments, so uh, looking forward to that. But before we get into the actual matches, of course, we have our usual thing here with our avatars um, to explain in case some people are, uh, you know, new to the Clash of Champions streams. Uh, what Viram and I have decided to do is we rank the characters that we want to see in Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising. Because, you know, new characters are coming, tons of characters in Grand Blue, and uh, we're counting down from the bottom upwards. So, these are our number fives. So, uh, I am a huge fan of Rosetta. I pick the stage with Rosetta every time. Uh, you know, Swampen's been doing me a favor here in Clash of Champions as well and picked the Rose Queen boss battle theme. Uh, very happy about that. I will be playing Rosetta in Grand Fantasy Relink. So, you know, definitely hope that she makes it into Versus. I doubt she will, because she already has a lobby avatar. Uh, she's present in two stages. Like, she has a presence in the game. I think she's probably not going to be playable as well. She's a boss battle, everything. Um, so I'm happy with her role in the game, but I would be even happier if she was playable. Then on uh, my side, of course, uh, the... Probably the one of the most popular, if not the most popular, Eternal alongside Six. Of course, we have Siete, aka Siophon. Um, I know that Uno is like the actual founder of the Eternals, but he is essentially their leader and an incredibly cool, incredibly strong uh, sort of character. He, he has this kind of like cool, cheeky, aloof uh, sort of attitude to him, as well as uh, just you know, deep down, you know, he's definitely someone you don't want to mess with. And he, he has all these cool swords. He loves swords. So mm. I, I definitely think he'll, he'll just be a very, very cool, um, maybe potentially a little more conventional, but definitely a very cool choice to have in the game. 
yeah, definitely one of those characters that people were hoping for. And I know, you know, when Andre was added, they even had the story mode model for Seattle or Seofan. I That really rubbed salt in the wounds of some people. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, hopefully, Rising will uh, bring some peace uh, to these uh, su suffering youngsters who are just hoping for uh, the cool sword guy to come in. Uh, all right, with that, we are going to be moving into our first match here. I believe the players are in the lobby. Uh, of course, I will be doing the intros. Um, I think everyone knows the deal at this point. Uh, we have special intros for the players in Japanese. I will translate them afterwards, so don't worry. Uh, so we are going to run those real quick. Then we're getting into the match. It's going to be Savid, it's going to be Dragoy, it's going to be first to seven. A lot of action coming up here. So ah, let's get the titles done. ガッチャゲームから格闘ゲームまで何でも徹底的にやろうとこう。シナガラのマイストロ、サヴィ。From Gacha Games, Gacha Games to Fighting Games, the man who puts his whole heart into everything, the maestro of multitasking, Zavid. And on the other side, Dragoi. Even on the world stage, this is the central pillar of our region, the Emperor of Europe, Dragoi. And with that, we will be moving into the match. I will let the players know that they are good to go. And uh, yeah, let's get ready for some good grambling. Most likely going to see the Zoe versus Belial. Lancelot. Oh, no, he's going for the la She's going for the Lancelot. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Dragoy, you know, master of so many characters. We never know what's gonna come out uh, from from Dragoy, right? Uh, Belial is the most common pick, but you know, she's master of so many different characters. Been a very long time since I saw the Lance, though. So the last time I saw the Lance was at uh, the EU Community League. Uh, South Qualifier 1, which was the one that Dragoy won. Oh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Came out with the Lancelot versus TK Dog. Completely threw my predictions up in the air for that event. You know, had to make sure that everyone was kept on their toes. But Zavid off to a very solid start so far. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is a first seven, and being such a like multi character master as Dragoy is, right? Uh, you have a lot to work with here. Uh, like Dragoy. Even if it doesn't go that well with Lancelot, which, you know, it's a rough start. That doesn't mean it's not going to go well. Case in point, <laughs> right? As I say that the opening presents itself and Dragoy snatches it. Um, yeah, I was going to say, even if Lancelot ends up not going very well, you have so many games to play with here. Yep. Lovely tackle on the throw coming out from Zavid. Yeah, plus of that range, got to be careful, but Zavid willing to challenge back. With a great reaction SBA coming out from Dragoy. Not going to get the KO just yet. That is, of course, one of the lower damage SBAs. But you got to eat one more mix. Oh. And the empty low is going to mm -hmm. do it. Yeah, beautiful stuff there from Dragoy. Uh, you know, honestly, one of the first characters I saw Dragoy on was actually Lancelot. Oh my god, what a uh, so this isn't a new pick for uh, Dragoy by any means. Uh, you know, uh, definitely had Lancelot in... Uh, the arsenal, their arsenal for a while now. Yeah. Yeah, I believe Lance was Dragoy's very, very first character until she saw uh, in the Spanish scene someone yes. was Vega playing Pats. the Wayne. Vega Pats, then... the Street Fighter yep. Fang main, was playing the Wayne. <laughs> Dragoy was like, wow, I want to be like that. <laughs> Quite like back in season one, going from Lancelot to Luane, that's quite a tear jump downwards. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Lovely little run under from Zavi just to kind of change sides, adjust that positioning. Very, very even game so far, or even round. Ooh. Oh, goes this time for the very early JH to beat out the anti air attempt. Nice block on the 2 2 H, but no follow up afterwards. That was unfortunate. Could have gotten a big punish there. Oh no! Oh. And speaking of big punishes, Dragoy gonna take game one here. 
Yeah, you know Savid is definitely upset about that one, kind of let it slip through his fingers there, but it's a first to seven, and as I was saying, what I really wanted to praise Savid for uh, these previous weeks is his mental fortitude. So as long as he can keep that going here, I think he has a definite chance of uh, honestly forcing Dragoy off of the last one. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, lovely use of the delayed Ray Strike right there. Ooh. Nice. Nice with punish with the sweep of the delayed overhead a Malady coming out. Full corner combo from an out to go coming out from Dragoy's Lance right now. Oh, I will, oh, this is brutal. Are we allowed to show something like that on Twitch? Holy crap. <laughs> oh no he way! Said after the Southern Cross. Oh Okay, Dragoy is cooking. Let her cook! Holy Okay, good start here from Dragoy, putting on the pressure. Savid gonna find himself in the corner with a hard knockdown against Lance. Good block. Ready for the empty low that time. Oh Ooh, no! Lovely use of the two you to interrupt right there in the frame trap again, but this time not ready for the follow-up. And now, Savid's turn to apply the pressure. Ooh. Oh, beautiful out there though. Massive opportunity here for Savid. Yeah, huge. Now, of course, has the Dragon Oki on deck. Great pressure coming out from so far from Zavid. Oh, okay. Ooh, the OD activation. Okay, interesting. Good decision there from Zavid. Got the plus frames. Oh, wasn't able to get the follow-up after the, the spinning slash right there. Oh, the reaction! Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, Jagoy reacted to the fact that she wasn't going to get that punish there, so just changed the direction mm -hmm. of that SSBA. Yeah. yeah, very, very good awareness there. Right, that shifts out of danger. Both players now pretty much empty on meter, but Zavid Ooh. with the advantage and gets the round. Mm -hmm. Fighting back is Zavid. Yeah, I feel like Zavid is starting to get... Mm, I think feeling himself is a bit too strong of a statement, but starting to get in his rhythm here. Yes. And we saw that in that initial game. It was just a, a few small drops here and there that really kind of compromised Zavid. But now it feels like Zavid is definitely stabilizing. Oh, not ready for the block button check was Dragoy, and now forced back into the corner. Oh, huge counter poke there from Dragoy. And oh, the activation. Oh, this is scary for Savid. What's Savid gonna do here? Has to block it. Oh no! Called out on the spot dodge. And Dragoy gonna go up 2 0. Oh. Yeah, the OD is definitely something that's kind of tough to deal with uh, against Lance. Just knowing that he can sprinkle it in at any point during his pressure when he has full meter, and you just have to be on the lookout. Yeah, oh, the stagger pressure coming out here from Dragoy. Beautiful knockdown in the corner. Keeping the mix-ups going. Savid with the blocks, but can't block forever. Yep. And of course, against Lance's record pressure, you want to try to match standing rather than mm -hmm. crouching. Otherwise, you get big extensions off of that. Nice use of the air stall right there just to relieve that pressure. And now, Savid on the offense. Yeah, you know, the stand block against Lance, one of the first lessons Fiddy taught me. Uh, so. I've been giving Fiddy a lot of shit lately. I've got to say, you probably should listen to Fiddy, even though I've been <laughs> saying you shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, he is oh, one of the strongest players in Europe for the reason, but an air throw. Yeah. He's definitely a player that loves jumping quite a lot. Makes use of his aerial options very, very well, but mm -hmm. Dragoy that time ready. Uh, I would, I think there's probably some degree of matchup unfam unfamiliarity here because uh, probably the best uh, or most notable Lancelot from Europe would be Pida. Pida yeah. does play the game, but not nearly as actively as he used to, and has been very much in and out of it. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we also had Alberto, Spanish player, playing uh, Lancelot. Haven't seen him around in a while either, so... Oh, uh, I definitely don't think Savid has been up to snuff in the matchup lately, because, you know, there's just not enough Lancelots to fight. Yeah, exactly character is an absolute rarity in Europe now. Nice use of the rush to brute force her way through. Dragoy now up 3-0 against Savid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looking strong here. Battle 
Okay, Savid going a bit more aggressive here, but that's the annoying part, you know, when uh, Granblue first came out, Swampen would always tell me that Lancelot is just like Rashid from Street Fighter V. <laughs> when you put him in the corner, you're the one in the corner. And that's what we're seeing here. Whenever Lancelot gets put in the corner, he will just wall jump out. Yep. Crazy to think that back in Season 1, that was even more powerful. Look at the, yeah. the usage of the wall jump right there. Ooh, and the OD activation. Beautiful decision in making here from Dragoy. Oh wow, just out of range mm -hmm. of the uh, the blade impulse right there. Yep. Oh, Savid trying to find an opening. Oh, a little bit too early on that anti-air. Oh no, the whiff! With SSBA, neither player ready for that. This time the empty low finding its mark. No button. Oh dear, okay. But Dragoy manages to close it out despite some unfortunate mishaps there. Okay. Mm hmm. Unfortunately, gets tagged there by the jumping heavy. Yeah, the mix ups are coming out. Oh, block button check. Love the use of the JU right there. Just adding yet another layer to that offense. Mm hmm. Oh, the EX knockdown. Gets to build up some Wyman Gauge here. Oh, that oh, is gonna huge be close heavy. Beautiful. Oh, he even went even further. Oh, good stuff there from Savid. And now. Dragoy finds himself in the corner. Oh, no, never mind! <laughs> and that high wall jump is just doing dividends for Dragoy right now. Just getting her out. Oh. So many sticky situations! The counter hit on the turbulence! That is going to be a lot of damage from the SSBA. Oh, no. Oh, very no. close here. Oh, no! Samit was doing something! Gets tied no. by the plane impulse. No one is ready for M Blade Impulse. That move is a move you'll <laughs> seldom see Lance use these days, but Dragoy. it is there. Indeed. And Dragoy now finds herself at 4 0. I like the slight pause there from Zafi, just taking a little bit of a moment to collect himself. Mm -hmm. Oh no, a little bit, you know, indecisive there on what to go for Ampere. Okay, good. Gets the EX knocked down. What's coming up here? Goes low, goes low again. Nothing. Oh, okay. I really like how Dragoy is just invading Zavid's comfort zone. Doesn't want him to get any real momentum. Doesn't want him to get that dragon charge. He's just using that light blade impulse very, very well. Yep. And oh, there's the OD activation. We've been seeing these come through for Dragoy so many times now. Oh, beautiful. Conversion there from Savid and the block. Savid taking this round, still in it. Yeah, very, very nice stuff. Very important to block that as well, because that would have been the big explosive comeback for Dragoy if she was able to hit that um, turbulence follow up. Yeah, absolutely. Oh! Okay, a little bit too mid screen, <laughs> but uh, still a very cute conversion. Yeah, can't get the double from that distance. Uh, I believe the combo goes into EX Thunder there. Oh, yeah. Oh, corner position, though. Savid needs to find his way out here. Dragoy not making it easy. Oh, nice roll out. And even though Dragoy was able to get the hit afterwards, that is still, a, I would say, a win for Savid, able to get back to the mid-screen and play that neutral. Oh, oh unfortunate right there. Yeah, that was the wrong button to press at that point of that point in time. Wow, That's just like... using the 2U to get right past that far uh, medium attempt. Again, uh... the whiff punish with the 2U. <laughs> the guy might have learned a thing or two from Mr. Pao. Oh, okay. Like challenge from Grigoy there. Oh, nice. Using the medium southern cross to frame trap. Again, that empty low. When you're so used to fuzzy blocking the other two possibilities, that empty low can come through and just catch you off guard. Once again, the OD comes out from Dragoy. That's not going to hit. going to whiff. Yep. Oh, all that's going to be a punish. Anyway. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Good poke. 
No anti air. Yeah, now Jagoy is out of meter. This is a pretty decent situation. Never mind. Once again, that light blade <laughs> impulse invading Zavid space. And Dragoy up 5 0 now. Yeah, this, like, Dragoy is just. This, this almost sounds like an insult, but it's meant as a uh, compliment. Drogoy is just not stopping the button pressing, but in a very good way. Uh, Drogoy is just staggering the hell out of Savid here. Yeah, normally Zavid is a player who, if you allow Zavid to kind of set the pace, uh, he can definitely run away with things and just control the offense incredibly well, play neutral incredibly well. Yeah. But Dragoy is simply not allowing that to happen, simply just playing at a peg faster than Zavid right now. And we see that with this constant, unrelenting pressure. I mean, I'm getting massive Season 1 flashbacks. I know that Lancelot is a much worse character now, but this looks like Season 1 Lance to me. <laughs> so oppressive. You know, Dragoy just putting on the pressure so hard. Like like you said, won't let Savid get his game started at all. Savid just constantly backed up against the wall uh, in a defensive position because, you know, Dragoy just won't let anything through. It's a different brand of suffocation to what one would see with uh, the Fittison set, for instance. Mm, yes. The defense coming out from Zavid, not over, uh, not overzealous versus the jump, but still in a horrible, horrible position. Oh dear. Okay, actually, thanks in there, love. No dragon meter available for Zavid. <laughs> Lovely use of the last wish right there. Yeah, good reactions from Savid. Still up in his position though, and not able to get these anti because of the way that Dragoy has been mixing up the jump arc. Okay. It's blocked so far, but that was a good chunk of chip damage oh. put on, but the second hit oh, the of the, the heavy not catching, but again, the reaction <laughs> SBA. Oh. Okay, Savid is now metaphorically, not not just literally throughout these matches, but also metaphorically back up against the wall. 6-0 score. Savid needs to make a miracle happen here to turn this around. Good counter poke. Gets the EX knockdown. High would go respond. Okay, not getting the full conversion, unfortunately, but pressure is mounting. Big nice. catch out the air, just gonna charge a little bit more of that dragon meter. Again, those high wall jumps have been a real thorn in Zavid's side right now. They yeah. have been. He hasn't really been dealing with that particular option very well. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Rare footage of the dragon just messing everything up for Zoe there. Unfortunate. Hate to see it. Again, the aggressive overdrive coming out from Dragoy. Nice Ooh. punish versus that 2H. Yeah, this is a lot of damage coming out here. Next hit could kill. And it's and going it to. it does. All right, Dragoy now one round away from taking the set in a clean 7-0. Zavid has been in this position before. Definitely not incapable of fighting back. Oh, okay. Yeah, was not a counter hit, so not able to convert off of that, but still Ooh, like... Tries to call out that back shift. Not quite fast enough. Oh, Savid, this is hard. Oh, that's a big, big jump in from Dragoy. Massive damage gonna come out here, and the OP situation after. Good blocks. Blocks. Ooh, Love good the air to air. Oh, the OD activation coming out here. Oh no! Again, the, Im the, the blade impulse from across the screen from downtown straight into the heavy and SBA, and Ooh. that will be the set. A clean 7 0 for Dragoy. Yeah, um. Yeah, I don't know. Like, we haven't seen the Lancelot from Dragoy in a long time, but uh, clearly, you know, it's not rusty. <laughs> right?
<laughs> oh man. Uh, I okay. I'm pretty sure that's our first seven zero of Clash of Champions four. Uh yes, I think, I think so. so. Yeah. Uh, not surprised to see it come from Dragoy. Honestly, you know Dragoy, uh, former Clash of Champions winner. Uh, back in the first competition, and, uh, you know, definitely in a good position to potentially take it uh, this time as well, becoming a two-time champ. Um, undefeated currently, so, you know, uh, she's in a very good spot. Yes, absolutely. Whew. Oh, man. Yeah, that was something. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Um... Don't have the scores ready to show you guys as usual. I will be posting them, um, the, the updated scoreboard on Twitter, uh, a little bit after the event tonight. So, you know, uh, keep your eyes on uh, Twitter for all of that. But Dragoy in a very good position now. I think Svampen might still be ahead, but they're neck and neck for sure. Mm. Um, with that, we are going to be moving into our second match here, uh, Fidison versus Dudakov. And, uh, you know, we were talking about, um, we don't really know what's coming out here. Uh, before we went live, I said, and, like, I know Dudakov is here listening now, and I will stress again, this has absolutely nothing to do with Dudakov's skill level, because Dudakov is a very, very capable Matera player, but I was like, can't finish it, just pick Seox and 7 0, maybe. Because <laughs> the character matchup is that bad, and Finis and Seox is that good, more importantly. Yeah. Uh, of course, we've seen Dudakov on other characters, specifically Seox, so it might turn into a Seox mirror. <laughs> like, who knows? Uh, I have no idea what these two players have in store for us. It could be, you know, Seox versus Percival, for all I know, right? Um, I guess we'll find out. Um, and in order to find out faster, I might as well go into the player introductions, and then we can get into the match itself. <laughs> so, on one side, we have... Pedizen. Nando demo tachi agaru sono shunen! Kare no bushi no tamashi wa tsune ni moete iru! Mukan no oja! Pedizen. And the translation... The tenacity to keep rising, no matter how many times it takes. His warrior soul never stops burning. The uncrowned king, Fidizen. And on the other side... Kono otoko ga meno mai ni araware tara, kare no sonzai ni otoru beshi, taikai hyo no shinigami, Dudakov. If he appears in front of you, you'd best be afraid. The Grim Reaper of Tournaments, Dudakov. And with that, I will let the players know we're good to go. And we can get right into this next set. <laughs> At this pace, we might finish early. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, players taking a little bit of time starting up, but that is no issue. Um, hmm. I honestly think we're probably going to see Seahawks versus Percival for the majority of the sets. Maybe. I'm, I'm not even sure if we'll see Percival at all. Maybe I feel not. like, yeah, I feel like... Fiddy may prefer to play the mirror over playing Percy Matera. It's just that case of like, he can play that matchup, but... Well, the mirror is what we're starting on at least. Yeah, he can play that matchup, but it requires... It probably requires more thought from him than playing the, the six mirror. So, um, Virum, yes. while I have you here, I will make a reference that... Chat will probably be oblivious to, but you will not. Mm -hmm. So watching this unfold in front of us right now, all that comes to my mind is the year is 20XX. <laughs> <laughs> we have truly reached peak grand. <laughs> that uh, we have. All right, so Dudakov getting a good start here. And of course, Dudakov has already won the fashion competition, but Pitizen getting a good counter there to get out of the corner. 
Oh. The immediate throw anticipating tick throw right there. Mm -hmm. The OD activation is coming out here. Okay, looking good for Dudakov. You know, obviously, as uh, Seahawks, you want to be the aggressor at all times. Uh, not always yep. easy when you're fighting another Seahawks. Uh, but uh, I'm not surprised that we haven't really... Okay, well, there it came. I was going to say that we haven't really seen the parry come out. Oh, that wasn't the parry. Never mind. There it was. There we go. <laughs> okay, but for this now. is horrible for uh, Dudakov. Yep. Dudakov is on. wants to try to aggress here, but not too haphazardly. Oh, and the parry has gone. gone. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as the parry was gone that. and the run under happened, that was pretty much checkmate. Yeah. Oh, I'm happy to announce the chat was very much uh, onto the reference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll be surprised at how many um, smashes slash former smashes work their way into Grand Blue. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's really the case with any fighting game, uh, honestly. Um, I think Smash just has that broad appeal that everyone's played it at some point, and, you know, some competitively. Exactly. Okay, here we go. There is a pushing in hard here. Okay, no conversion. Oh, it wasn't ready. Oh, unfortunate there. That could have been it. Yep. Had that shimmy in place, but wasn't ready to actually capitalize on it. Oh, what a whip punish with the... With a far heavy into the SSBA. Oh, oh. bro. Okay. Okay, I, I need to blow him up. Vinicet was writing me the other day in DMs like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to play 100%. You know, I'll try to do my best. And then he does that in the first goddamn game. Like, come on. What, what a goddamn coper. Citizen is always at mid screen. Yeah, big damage. Got the corner position. Okay, trying to bait out and get the shimmy successfully there. The throw attempt punished. And bait the parry. Citizen looking so strong. And that is that is exactly the kind of thing that you can do as Seox against Seox. You have that incredible walk speed to do those super effective shimmies and just threaten so much. Alright, Durakov's still in it though. Okay, gets the bait on the parry there. It's only been one game, but it already feels like Citizen is so ready for a lot of these parries coming out. Oh, <laughs> that is a punish five or so well. Oh my god, wasn't ready to convert there. If he had actually converted off of that, I would have flipped. But now Durakov is looking favored for this round. Okay, good OD activation. Citizen in a little bit of trouble here. Yeah, looking for the whiff punish there with the far heavy. Okay. Yeah, get some pressure shot in! Catches him out of the air! Out on the jump. That's gonna be a big chunk of damage. This, <laughs> funnily enough, despite all the flashy things that Seox is capable of doing, I think close heavy into SSBA is one of his highest damage combos. Yeah. Oh! Wow, wow. okay. Do the cough in trouble. The approach. Oh. oh my goodness. The well, I don't know what, what to say. <laughs> what a shimmy right there coming out from Dudikov right at the end. That was a nail biter of a round. I don't know if I've ever been like at this loss for words. It's just I don't know. I feel like all my brain cells are departing watching this. Like I can't tell. I can't tell when it because it keeps shifting from yep. very, very extremely high level stuff to just complete and utter slop. <laughs> yeah. And it shifts at, at the flip of a coin. <laughs> okay, here we go. EX knockdown coming out here. Okay. The uh, fuzzy match there from Dudakov. Ooh, beautiful conversion from Pittison. Should not kill here, though. Yeah. I believe. Yeah, for all of Justice its virtues. Just mm -hmm. For all of its... Uh, did not do anything? No. No. Okay, it's Fittison sitting at 2-0 now. Uh, I was going to say, for all of his virtues, you know, Seahawks a very strong character in the game. Everyone's pretty much in agreement that he's top tier, or at least top tier adjacent. Yeah. Uh, his damage actually isn't that high. Yeah, particularly when he has you in the corner. Um, the big thing about Seahawks, of course, is that he's very good at actually just landing his close heavies and getting his, uh, his damage off of those. But... Yeah. 
his peak damage of, of, obviously isn't that high. Yeah. He does, of course, also benefit from good mid-screen damage because like Absolutely. his mid-screen yeah. combos are still very, very solid and they have mm. great corner carry, but the reversal throw coming out from Budokov. I guess it would be fair to say that his average damage is still high, but his peak damage isn't that high. Yeah. Oh, oh call him out! Dodge. It isn't just looking tapped in right now. And it's not like Dudikov is doing anything particularly bad either. He's definitely keeping up. But yeah. it isn't just one step ahead right now. Yeah, Fittison just really capitalizing on these big, uh, you know, he got some really big whiff punishes. He had some good call outs, you know, when Dudikov went for the, uh, is it Gate of Demons, the projectile, I think? Uh, yeah. he, he would, you know, jump up and air-to-air -air in, in preparation for it. And uh, we've seen a lot of that. And here we are seeing a good conversion from Dudikov, though. Oh, didn't have anything to convert into there. Nice. Okay. Parry right there. Here come the stackers from Dudikov. Nice mm -hmm. frame trap, and this should be enough to get the round as well. Oh, oh no, the drop! The drop! And the OD activation coming out. Dudikov can't chip him now. This is really bad for Dudikov all of a sudden. He had yep. that round. You know that's hurting him mentally right now. And this is going to be an EX knockdown. What is Fittison's Oki here? Okay. The rush coming out. One block, hit is all block. Fittison needs. One hit is all both of them need to get the KO right now. Yep. And Fittison has successfully baited the parry out, but still gets tagged by the 5L. Dudakov, bring it back. Very, very nice. Keeping it composed right there is Dudakov. Oh, what an air-to-air oh, -air oh. right there. Yeah, almost got a massive conversion there, but gets the punish on the dive kick as well. Dudakov, not deterred at all from, you know, <laughs> the uh, heart stopper last round. Uh, but Fit isn't getting corner position though. Ooh, big damage! Yeah, very surprising right there. That is minus on block, so all Dudikov had to do was press that uh, that light, but Fit isn't able to come out on top, and brute force is through with the execution as well. It's gonna be a nice chunk of damage into SBA. Not gonna get the KO just yet though. No, but it's gonna be a rough situation. Dudikov has parry available, so Fittison needs to choose his OP carefully, and the Abare coming out from Dudikov! Yeah. Oh, catches him again. Okay, overhead, not going anywhere. I think he's too far away. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Punishes the I OD sense, activation. I sense that OD coming. Uh, admittedly, I thought it was going to come out and wake up, but yeah. instead, Dudikov going for the for the next layer, going for the mash, just to maybe in anticipation for the baited uh, reversal. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Uh, we're seeing a good start here from Fittison. Ooh, okay. X plus, yeah, not able to get the count hit there, so not going to get any combo. But now it's Fittison's turn to apply the damage. Mm. I like that. Not using the EX just to keep the cooldown, but the rush to relieve the pressure. Beautiful decision there and gets completely out of the corner. Now has Fittison's back against the wall. Not quite corner position, but getting close to it. Uh, there we go. That's like stalemate. Finally broken. Ooh. Lovely challenge with the 2M right there. Not able to get in range for the sweep, but the punish, keeping it nice and simple with the lights into SBA. This time it will be enough. Yeah. It's actually pretty rare to see that SBA kill. Uh, but, you know, yeah. Even with that type of starter, uh, when your health is that low, it's actually going to be good. Oh, what the raw sweep! <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, These I, two I just ran at each other <laughs> i i can't i'm not even gonna look at chat because i know it's full of slop memes already <laughs> oh okay oh almost oh, a massive conversion there yeah tags him out of the sky but oh yeah nice big the trouble. Right there. Dude, the should be able okay well i mean that's a start but oh big counter it Actually, one more hit is gonna remove Dudakov's OD, but never mind. Dudakov ready there with the Abare. Yep. Very nice decision considering the risk reward was in his favor. You know, get that 5L, you win the game. If it's if not, then you're not gonna die to anything CS can do in that position. Yeah. Oh, big conversion coming from Pity here. Goes in for the rush as well. Interesting. There's the parry. That's fine. Okay, Harry's back. Looking for pressure, you know. Plus frames. Yeah, so much plus, plus frames. Wow. 
Pretty far heavy right there. Oh. Nice empty nice. jump this time to bait out the Thunder Flash, and this is Dudakov's time to apply that pressure, mount that offense. Looking great for Dudakov here. That oh, it's actually it. Nice yes. Dudakov on the board. Not going down the seven zero in the mirror. Believe in victory. Battle one. I believe the um, that version of the uh, 4M slash 4H does do additional damage over the faster variant. It, uh, yeah, that's what allowed him to get the kill right there. Mm. Corner position coming out here. Never mind. The parry is always in play. <laughs> yeah, both these two just cycling their offensive and defensive options very, very well. Once again, fit as a no, coming out on top in a lot of these exchanges. Definitely. I'm just looking out for oh. the potential mash. <laughs> Triggered that parry really late, actually. Almost saw the punish there, but not quite in time. Oh, yeah, we are seeing Luna Cup throughout these regular parries here once in a while. Mm. Um, fishing for some stuff in neutral against Pity. Hasn't worked out yet, but I do like the attempt. Yep. Dealing with the throw really, really well so far is Dudikov. Okay. Oh, <laughs> they're actually missing each other. Like two ships passing by in the night. Oh, no, no punish. And why is the recovery that low? Come on. <laughs> oh. Neither developers can answer that question, I'm afraid. Do you know how hard I have to work not to hate on this character when I'm commentating? <laughs> I can't, I can't, not when I see that. Okay, Fiddy getting the hit here. Crouch conversion, gonna be big. Corner position. Hard knockdown this time Ooh. and gets the link into SSBA, keeping it nice and simple to take the game 4-1. to one. There we go. Fiddy said looking strong here. Believe in victory. Those overhead attempts from Fitterson as well have pretty much all been blocked. Yeah. I'd say that goes on both sides. Dudakov's been trying them a few times as well, and they just, they're just they never really working so far. Uh, I wonder mm. if they're trying, uh, like either of them, are trying to, you know, set up conditioning for later uh, when they go for something cheeky. Guess we'll find out. Okay. Oh, there's the OD activation for Dudakov. Did he taking some distance here? Letting Dudakov burn the cooldowns. Pressure, Latex. Yep. Goes for the plus frames this time. Oh, the Lovely reaction. reaction SBA. Yeah, you know. Ugh. Don't test Fiddy. <laughs> nice. Using the Thunder Flash right there just to prevent those plus frames, but the parry immediately oh. back with the throw. Unfortunate mistiming the meaty right there is Fitterson and losing the round for it. Dudikov now up the round. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, interesting. Not sure what Fitty was going for there, but did not work out. Mm. Dudikov looking very strong this match. Mm. Very capable defensively right now. Very nice timing on that 2 3 6 H. Gonna get the cross up as well, and a clean game coming out from Dudakov. Yeah, Dudakov definitely not out of it yet. Um, look, it looked very solid overall, you know. Uh, I was thinking to myself, you know, does he need more or less slop? Uh, I feel like he needed less, and that's kind of what that game showed, because I think he was playing very solidly, very clean, and, uh, you know, it really paid off. Big counter hit here from Fittison, though. Oh, not quite close enough to the corner to get the snake bite afterwards. Ooh, the block. Mm, oh, lovely jump past. Yeah, Dudakov trying to 2H that, that, but not quite fast enough. Aggressive OD coming out from Fitterson as well. Just a double too well enough to seal out the round. Battle 
we gotta come a lot more careful with the button presses here. It was working out. Um, I feel like he's gotten too careful though. Ooh, there's a big conversion coming out here. Ooh, big call out wow. on that overhead. Maybe try it. Maybe Dudikov tried to go for a hard call out using the overhead against throw, but Citizen wow. ready and able with the perfect. What a response! Yeah, Fidison really just, you know, out shimmying him there. Uh, looked really strong. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we saw, as you mentioned, Dudikov was getting a lot more used to Fidison's timing and the way that he was applying that pressure. But Fidison, once again, changing things up ever so slightly and capitalizing off of it beautifully. Now, of course, here come the meaties. Here come the lower layers of offense. Yeah. Oh, the anti-air! Beautiful! Doesn't have meter, so shouldn't be able to kill here. Oh, uh, never mind! Meter built! <laughs> My bad! Even with even with all that scaling, I think this should be enough yeah. just about, and there it is, another perfect coming out from Fittison. Oh, wow, yeah, Fittison really went into high gear here. Let's see if Turakov can adapt to it. Alright, gets a good start. Oh no! Unfortunate there, ended up crossing up there with that. Put himself Lovely in the corner. Once again. I like the decision to rush there, give himself a little bit of extra time to get the cooldown back for execution. The rush back from Dudikov. Oh, the anti again the anti-air! Wow. This time he's not gonna get me there. <laughs> oh, yeah. called him out though! With the dive and wow, Fittison! Those, those matches were so fast. Uh, already at a 6-2. Like, the last two matches were absolute lightning speed. Very fitting for a character of Seox's disposition. Yeah, for sure. I might have to put up a speedrun timer on the stream. <laughs> oh, there we go! Big conversion here, and as you were saying earlier in the set, even mid-screen, Seox gets very good conversions if he gets the right hit. Yeah, look at all that corner carry as well. It looks like, okay, so throughout these sets, I believe that Dudikov has been going for a spot dodge uh, OS versus throws. Mm -hmm. The throw spot dodge OS, which is something that, you know, has kind of fallen out of favor slightly, I think, with a lot of players. But I think here versus the Fittas and Seox, it has been very effective on defense. That said, though, yeah. still looking very, very rough in this particular game. Oh, it was ready! Beautiful reaction One right round there. away here. Woof. Okay, here we go. Durakov getting a good start, but Fiddy getting out and getting the punish on that throw attempt. Nice challenge this time from Dudakov mm -hmm. again. A lot of those immediate presses happen working out very nicely for him. No punish on the throw, Ooh. but this time Fittison reversing the situation, gets another throw and starts applying that pressure. Yeah, this is scary though. Fiddy gets the right type of hit here, should be over. Okay, the X knocked down from Dudakov. What's the mix up? Okay, we're back to neutral. Ho oh, ho ho ho! Okay. Oh, no conversion. A little bit too yeah, late. A bit there, too far to get that one, yeah. Ooh. Nice with punish, but not in the position to capitalize. That should be a safe meaty right there. Yeah. And it is, and that is going to be the set for Fitzer. Nice and simple, ending off with a super skybound art. Who said EU doesn't have safe meaties? It sure wasn't Fitzer, because he just did it. <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. Fitty closing that out with a 7 2 over Dudakov in the Seox Mirror there. Um, yeah, you know, good stuff. Uh, I definitely like what uh, Durakov was doing. Like, he, I feel like he was adapting quite well. The only problem is, you know, Fiddy isn't the type of player who comes in with one game plan. He's always ready to adapt back to your adaptations, and uh, it was hard for Durakov to keep up in the end. Yeah, that is definitely one of the strengths of uh, Fittizen in general, particularly in these longer sets. He's very, very good at making those sorts of adjustments. But yeah, excellent stuff either way to both players. Uh, very well fought battle from Dudikov. Definitely showed that he could, uh, for the most part, keep up very, very well. But we, of course, are moving on to our final set of the day. Yeah, 
Uh, so we are going to have Mr. Pow versus Sonic Sun coming up. And uh, this is something we talked about a bit before. Like, okay, what are we actually going to be seeing here? Because Sonic Sun notably has started uh, practicing Seox himself. He even brought it out against Swampen the other week here in Clash of Champions 4. Um, I think his main reason for picking him up was the Matara matchup. Because it's not that Pow always beats him. But I think... I... I think it's kind of fair to say that Pau has been a bit of a demon for him in tournaments last year. Um, and, you know, finding a way to just get past that, I think Seox was a good answer. But then he stopped playing Seox against Pau, and I don't know if that was some kind of long con leading up to now. Uh, or if he just, you know, needed more time to get used to the character. Or if he has a completely different plan, you know, he plays a lot of Belial, uh, he plays a lot of Gran. I don't think either of those characters are bad against Matera. I mean, I think Pelai wins, even. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what Sonic Sun comes out with here against Mr. Pao. Um, yeah. Uh, what what I think we can be sure of, at least, is that Pao is going to be on Matera to start with. If the Seox comes out, and if the Seox is giving him a hard time, you know, Vasarata might come out, but... <laughs> Pretty sure we're gonna start with Matera at least. Yeah, I mean, <clears> of course, against um, in the in our first week, of course, Mr. Powell did stick with uh, Matera the entire time. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe against Dudikov. Uh, yes, against Dudikov uh, with the Seox, and you know, yeah. Seox. The Seox was taking games uh, from Mr. Powell, but Mr. Powell definitely came out on top in the end in a pretty. Pretty strong fashion by the end. He felt very comfortable by the end of that set. Yeah, uh, I definitely think he, uh, he... He kind of, like... I mean, he won the set, right? So, yeah. in that set specifically, he definitely conquered the matchup. And this is something I need to highlight, is, you know... Seox Matera matchups are often brought up as an extremely bad matchup. Matera players will generally agree with that, at least in Europe and Japan. And uh, Mr. Pau also definitely thinks it's a terrible matchup for Matera, but that's not a conclusion he came to listening to others or, you know, losing at the start and then coping. No, he practiced this matchup to hell and back. And do in doing so, it led him to the conclusion, I need to learn a sub, which was Vasaraga. So he knows the matchup. And against Durkov, we saw that. He's extremely good at the Seox matchup with Matera. Uh, so, you know, he won't go to the Vasaraga instantly just, you know, to get get rid of the matchup. Because he does believe in his main. He does believe in his skills with his main. If he can find a way to beat this specific player with Matera, he wants to do it with Matera. Yeah, definitely. So, I'm going to get into the introductions for our final two players. And then we'll get into the final set of the night. So, on one side, we have Sonic Sam. Shino ni oi wo kaguto, aite wo zettai ni nogatanai, ueteru kemono, Sonic Sam. Once he smells blood, he will never let his opponent escape. The hungering beast, Sonic Sam. And on the other side, Tsukamareru hazu ga nai sono sokudo. Mr. Pao. With his speed, you can never catch him. With his precision, you can never get away from him. Clash of Champions free champion. The elusive rat ruler, Mr. Pao. And with that, the players have been told we are good to go and we're gonna find out very soon what Sonic Sun has in store for us here. You know what? I'm gonna bet on the ground. I wanna see the ground as well. I wanna see some Grantony versus gaming. Oh, and our there prayers have been answered. Gran is coming out, obviously. I say this every time. It needs to be hi uh, highlighted every time. This is the character Sonic Sun enjoys the most. Yeah. And especially oh. now um, with the 
slight buffs that he's been receiving this patch, you know, he has mm -hmm. even more consistent ways to just get that damage and kind of get the ball rolling. And against the character like Matera, who is a fragile lass, that is incredibly scary. Absolutely. Uh, you know, th this is one of my more disliked matchups with Matera. Uh, solely because of Martin. Uh, you know, people who played Grand Blue a long time would remember Martin. People who played Exert would definitely remember Martin. Because he plays a very wild Gran, and uh, I hate playing against him. Um, and a large part of it is uh, just the fact that, you know, if you do mess up... It... I don't need to talk, you take just that. watch. Just watch, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it's very costly to make a mistake in this matchup. More so than in most other matchups. And the back throw! This is a really bad situation for Sonic Sun now, and the rush. Oh, yep, oh right, and the, the reset! reset actually well. gonna kill here. Yeah, yep. series of unfortunate events there for Sonic Sun, you know. Uh, a lot of things went wrong in a short amount of time there, you know. Getting back thrown from the corner, worst feeling in the world. Doing rush against a projectile, second worst feeling in the world. And <laughs> then getting over overhead from a combo by Matera, so it's a reset. Third worst feeling in the world. I would not want to be Sonic Sand right now. Yeah. Yeah, Sonic Sand just definitely expecting just a full combo right there. Not expecting the reset to come out mid combo. Nice use of the EX boot though, and now mm -hmm. it is time for Grand to apply that pressure. Sends with the plus frames. Oh, good anti air. Uh, no conversion. I don't believe Grand is able to do that without a counter hit, so. Just. Oh, beautiful roll there. And the corner position here wants to keep how locked down. Yeah, good tech. Ready with the, yeah, ready with the pro tech this time. Counter hit 2M, but not in range to really get anything off of it. Oh! Wow, goes for the DP just to stuff that attempt at the uh, the TK arrow. Mm -hmm. They're really putting the pressure on here, you know. The patience from Mr. Power is good, though, but that's going to be it. No amount of patience will save you once the boot connects. This Ooh. is just the key thing with Sonic Sand. You know, Grand does have the speed to just stay in Matera's face. And with the way that Sonic Sand structures his offense, he's very good at just staying there. Sticking like a leech. Absolutely. And there's the rush he wanted before. He was looking for the Great Ball. This time, correct assessment and manages to get him. Oh, ho, 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 the EX Rising Sword as an extremely late anti air working out and just waiting for the advance there. Sonic Sand taking game one. That was incredibly good by Sonic Sand. Just gave Mr. Powell that space, coaxed him into wanting to go for an approach. Just get back in the zone and then boom, the boot comes out and the game is won. Yeah. Uh, I also think, you know, Mr. Powell and Sonic Sand have played a pretty decent amount. I think it's been a while since Powell got to play against Gran because in tournament... Uh, you know, it happens, right? But he's more used to Sonic Sans other picks, for sure. Mm. Okay. Oh, combo limit. Hmm. That was not what Mr. Pao wanted to go for, I don't think. But that's what he got. Yeah, I think the second hit of the auto combo messed up the combo limit timing right there. Not able to get the Great Fall out in time, unfortunately, for Mr. Pao. And now you have to be scared of that explosive grand damage. Yep, for sure. Sonic's not threatening up close here. The bazooka is loaded! Will bounce, but didn't have the cooldowns to extend any further. If he just had the fireball, that would have been the game. Or the round. Ooh. And there oh, it is! Oh, there's the boot. Once again, the timing from Sonic Sand to just hit these EX boots has been very, very good so far. Mm, absolutely. Oh! Uh, unfortunately, too far away to get any conversion off of that, but that was a very, very good air to air there oh how getting out of the corner here <laughs> oh tried to go for a funny little setup there not quite at the right range okay sonic sun just trying to edge his way in here oh beautiful oh, angle yeah, yeah with the empty jump there oh it's gonna be an anti-air Oh, never mind! Ooh. Okay, oh. still a punish though. You know, that was like, out of the fire into the brimstone. <laughs> yep. Right, Power able to get the follow-up into the Great Fall. 
You've got to be mindful of that 5U from Gran. It could come out at any moment. It covers a lot of space. It does. Oh, oh well, taxes. watch your toes. <laughs> oh, I love this set already. <laughs> Honestly, these are two, like, matchup wise, these are two of my favorite players to watch in EU. I really love how they play against each other. Oh, safe beautiful. jump that time. Yeah, great safe jump and goes for the fancy punish, of course. Close to the corner after all. And there's the setup. Oh! Oh, gets clipped, and that is going to be the game. Mm. To Mr. Power, oh, no, 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 he's the ball. And OG, oh, no. if oh, no. Mr. Power loses this round, it's going to be devastating. Okay, saves yeah. it. Yeah, you know, very rare to see Power drop combo, those types of combos. That's more of a Majin move. <laughs> You know, at that position, if, if Sonic Sang got the right hit in the right position, that would have been the round. Even with all that health that Mr. Pal had to spare, that is just the the raw power yeah. of Gran. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, that is Ooh. not what he wanted. Mm. Okay. Putting the pressure here. Ooh. I'll take on the overhead. Gets the EX knockdown, and Mr. Cloud gonna try and just get out of the corner and gets a huge reward for it as well. Oh, look at all that damage, yeah, 100 meter on both massive. sides as well, but the optimal range for Matera. Sonic looking for any type of opening here. Okay, good stuff. Gets the OD on, doesn't want to deal with the chip. Good decision here from Sonic Sun. Can play a lot more carefully now. Gradually okay. work his way forward, but unfortunately that 2U is going to tag him in the shins. He needs to block this. Block successfully. Mm. Mr. Powell's still in danger. Oh, ah, there it is! Oh, Sonic oh, Sand yeah. now doomed. Yeah. Yeah, that was a pretty much a checkmate situation right there. Even though he had all his resources, with the lack of meter and being near chip point meant that that was so hard to come back from. Absolutely. I do like the cautious approach he took there, but... Uh, Patients were a bit thin after he got tagged the first time, I think. Oh, charging! Mm. I like that a lot from Sonic Sand, knowing that, you know, if you're at that distance versus Matara, you might as well take that opportunity to charge. Yeah. Sonic Sand trying to find an approach in, but rolls at the exact wrong time. Mr. Power ready for it. Gets the hard knockdown here. And trying to keep the corner position. Good with punish. Oh, gotta block all of this. Oh, run up OD activation. Oh, Mr. Power needs to look out here. Sonic Sun can find his way in. No, the EX Great Fall. Shutting that path to victory for him. And Mr. Power is hitting a 2 1 now. Yep. Every time Sonic Sun activates that OD, I'm, I'm, I'm scared for Mr. Power's life, knowing yeah. what could happen. Yeah, at the same time, Sonic Sun needs to play so extremely carefully in order for that to happen. That's why we haven't seen it happen mm. yet. He can't just go crazy with it because then it's not gonna work. You know, Mr. Yes. Pao is not gonna fall for it. So Sonic Sun really needs to edge close and close. And you know, the dynamic once that hits, once he's in OD and he has the bazooka loaded, the dynamic reminds me a lot of another game that I played extensively, Samurai Showdown. And I mm. love it. Oh, okay. Trading the EX knockdowns here. Sonic Sun trying to run in here. Oof. Yeah, cooldown's on now. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Uh. Yeah, and, and th this is the thing about uh, playing against power in long sets. It's it's very difficult to kind of maintain that composure, maintain that discipline to play that careful, uh, steady approach game plan. It feels already like Sonic Sun is, is beginning to try to push forward a little bit more, try to anti-air the hop with the 2 edge a little bit too slow, unfortunately. Yeah, I think a big part of it is, uh, when playing against Matera, you need to play very patiently, right? Yes. You have a lot of experience with this. You, you've practiced this matchup more than anyone in you probably. Well, uh, more than anyone except Swampin, at least. Yeah. And, um, while I'm saying that, Sonic Sun is just running over power here. Uh, but the point I was uh, going to make about that is, the Matera player chooses the character 
that requires patience because it requires patience on Matera's side as well. But you did not choose the patience. You're forced into it. And that's yes. that's a power dynamic that isn't healthy. Oh no, Sonic's hand. It's such a horrible situation. Yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You got chipped. Yeah, all it took was that far light, and even even if Sonic Sam went for the OD there and that far light whiffed, I think Mr. Pal probably still would have had the time to like spot dodge potentially. So yeah, yeah, rough position for Sonic Sam now. Three one for Mr. Pal. I think Sonic Sam just taking a moment to consider if he wants to stay on the ground. Okay, he does. I like it. I think he's had a good game plan. I just think his patience has been waning a bit. It's a long set. He needs to just refocus. Because um, I feel like what he's failing to right now is, of course, Pau adapting. Absolutely. Mm. That's a big part of it. But also, his patience is not where it was in that first set. Ooh, that's that a big match. count hit medium boot. Look at the damage! Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is what you want to see here for Sonic San. Oh, the no mix up, mix up. Love to see it. And uh, this is going to be a hard situation here. Guaranteed OD activation. Sonic San. Oh, activates his own OD here. Beautiful threading of the needle there. Still alive. Lovely throw coming out from Mr. Powell. You don't see that option from him all too often, so yeah. to go for it there, definitely there it caught. Is. Sonic Sand off guard, and now it is Sonic Sand's time to apply that offense. Lovely use of the far medium right there. Yeah. Ooh, and the block. I can't, I can't believe Sonic Sand blocked wow. that. And they actually traded, but Sonic Sand yep. took it. Woo! Oh, I can't Crazy believe it. Crazy to think that if Sonic Sand was on a slightly less health, that would have been a double KO. Yeah. Oh, beautiful uh, air unblockable there. This part is pushing in here to the corner. Loading the gun. Oh, oh big air to air. Look there at this. Oh, He's going to yeah. do a ton. Mm -hmm. Big, big damage. Oh. Yeah, still gets out because of the knockdown. That's good. And the OD activation, Mr. Power in big danger, and yeah, that's it. Yep. Keeping it nice and simple. All right, Sonic Sam, another game on the board. Yep. Yeah, so as I was saying, I really liked Sonic Sam sticking to the ground, and I'm happy that he managed to take that game there because uh, it vindicated his decision. Uh, so mm. hopefully that will bring even further confidence to his play here. Oh, the EX knockdown? Oh, sorry, the hard knockdown. And there's massive. that massive Matera damage mm. that you see when the double boss flies her out. Yeah, big, big conversion there from Mr. Pau. This might, this round is almost forfeit here for Sonic Sun, if not for the fact that he's playing ground. Yep. He does have full meter. OD is available to him if he's able to find the opportunity. There's the first rush coming out from Mr. Pal. Oh, he didn't actually get the out there. That's unfortunate. But the OD activation is on. Yep. Just barely in range. And look at this position. Oh, that one. Oh, boot. This oh is so God. much damage. Oh, doesn't get the, no, okay. the follow-up with the sweep. Oh, unfortunate there. But still in a good position with the OD here. In the overhead. Sonic Sand just slowing down the pace. Great Ooh. anti air right there. Not enough damage just yet. Again, loving the weight on the rush oh. for the EX arrow. Oh. Yeah, I mean. Oh. Sonic Sand could have pressured him there with the chip on the OD, but he was respecting how. Um, because of the rush. Uh, so, you know, I agree with his decision, but it's unfortunate to go down like that. Yeah. There we go. The big punish. For the corner position as well. There's the next throw. Going to go for the meaty. There we go. Overhead. No opening, but a nice chunk of chip damage. Ooh. Beats out the EX boot. Okay. Too early on the throw and gets rushed for it. And this, it, yeah, goes for the DP. Doesn't need that for the combo. So saves the fireball. Oh. Clips by the arrow. Almost. Oh, almost gets the EX boot. Big okay. jump in though. Alright. Nice oh! spot dodge! Yeah, Gets and that's the meter for SPA as well. Oh, 
I love Mithara's expression when she gets hit by that. She's so... She's very much not happy. She has had enough. <sighs> yeah, lo lots of great expressions in that um, SBA. Mithara is definitely one of the best, though. You, you Wills is also really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, yep. Ooh. Triggers the second bus fly with the overhead. Too Very fancy. nice. Gets the opening, and that is going to be the Ooh. perfect from Mr. Power. What a response. <gasps> oh, my king. Oh, that was beautiful. Wow. Beautiful stuff. Wow, what a game. So much. That game in particular had so much incredible back and forth between the two. I think either player could have won that game outside mm. of that. You know that final round, but yeah, yeah four two to Mr. Power so far. I definitely agree. Um, I think Sonic Sun has kind of shaken off the game two and three. I think it was around there where he was not looking too hot. I think it's shaken that off. I think he's in a really good spot here. It's just it'll go either way. That's really where we're at. Mm. Oh, actually gets hit there by the jump medium, but a bit of an awkward position for Mr. Powell there. Not quite able to convert fully. Oh, charging. Oh, he's not down. Relieving the pressure, but of course that nice fast back shift. Mm -hmm. Getting power out of danger. <laughs> that was a scary far heavy. Oh, and another knockdown here. The corner position for Sonic San. Pow is in big danger here, and he knows it. The throw. throw. Oh, reads the back shift, but not fast enough to get the punish. Oh, doesn't but matter. The far medium into the boot, and that's going to be the round for Sonic San. Yep. Oh, Ooh, the DP oh. losing out there. Yeah, missed the conversion, unfortunately, but it was uh, was looking fancy. There it is! Speaking of fancy, oh. here comes Sonic Sun. Loaded to the brim. Ooh, that's big! Not good. Yeah, with Rush, he will get the conversion, but no, misses up the end of it, unfortunately. Holding all of these arrows, just blocking for dear life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or tries a cheeky RPS, uh -huh. and you're going to pay for that. Keeping it real simple into the SSBA. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be butterflies coming out after this. Yep. Good luck versus this offense coming up. Needs to block it all. Didn't block it all. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Butterfly still getting triggered and coming through for the round for Mr. Powell. Yeah, the butterfly insurance coming in hot. I do like how airborne Sonic Sun is going here because he's kind of. Oh, that is unfortunate to see if you're yeah. coming through there. Again, tried to 2H, just a little bit too late on the response. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Mr. Pop, a little bit hesitant on the anti-air there. Oh, the old oh, right OD. Like the decision there from Sonic San. But this time, Pal's OD comes out in response. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is a decent conversion. Oh, beautiful! Oh, what a hit. Should be able to kill here. Yep, into the SBA, going to get the full damage from it as well. And that is the game. 5-2 so far to Mr. Powell. Yeah, and uh, I mean, it's what, what what we were talking about earlier. Uh, it just happens to go in Mr. Powell's favor. They're so evenly matched right now. Uh, the score isn't really representative, and I hope that Sonic Sun can feel that as well and start to just clutch out these rounds that he needs to clutch out. Hmm. He's moved past those early games. You know, first game he came out swinging, he did amazingly. Uh, started being shaky, game two, three. After that, he's been very solid. It's just, Mr. Powers happened to close it out.
and uh, Comic Sans just needs to close it out as well. Ooh. Oh, big TK arrow right there from Mr. Powell. Yeah. Nice reaction to the hop this time, just keeping it nice and simple with the DP. Okay, the rush actually knocks the boot out. Oh, beautiful! Yeah, straight into mm. SBA. I like it. It's been nice oh, and simple. God. Still did a big chunk of damage. The frame trap to mm. beat out Mr. Pal's option right there. Good stuff. Oh, beautiful roll! Yeah, gorgeous timing on that. Tries to go for the overhead to beat out the rush, but rushed a little bit too quick in that instance. Yeah. And there's the full corner carry. Oh, the fuzzy mesh coming out from mm -hmm. Sonic San. And this is a risky range for Pau, even though the boot isn't up right now. It's going to be very soon. The butterflies yep, are not going to be. Cooldown's back for Gran. Just got to wait on the fireball now. Ooh. Lovely roll timing, but doesn't get the follow up afterwards. There it is! Oh, big EX boot, and that is going to be the game for Sonic Sand. Keeping them alive, 5 3. Mm hmm. Said the constant back and forth. Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling more and more that Sonic San needs to stick to the ground here. Um, yeah. Just in general. Because you can tell. You can just tell that he's feeling it so much when he plays Grand. Like, he really loves playing this character, very obviously. Mm. So, I, f I think that helps a lot in this matchup. Okay, oh. here we go. I like the attempt at the M-Boot extension right there. Unfortunately, power's Malady! a little bit too high. Finally, the Malady coming out, but didn't have the options afterwards. Ooh. Shaky DP there. But Mr. Pow in danger still. Sonic San find the opening. Taking it slow. Oh, good 2M. Yep. Beautiful interruption on that approach. Ooh, okay. tags a backdash as well. Just taking it easy here. Get through! That's wow, it. Wow, lovely JM timing right there to get through. Ooh, now that's a nice conversion from Pau and gets the corner here against Sonic. EX butterflies are up as well. Just needs to find an opportunity to play them down. Ooh. Oh! Wow, what an EX boot, and he's getting a nice chunk of damage. Look at that! Yep. Into the 5U again. Mm hmm. And SPA now loaded for Sonic Sand. Pau in. He doesn't even need the SPA at this point. Massive, massive danger for Mr. Pow. Oh, the M boot right there. Forfeiting that advantage that Sonic Sand worked so hard to get. And now it is Mr. Pow's turn to apply that pressure. Gets the throw. Oh, oh that's the rush. No, he wanted the overhead. Mm. Oh, but yeah, Sonic Sand capitalizing on that mistake and getting four on the board here. Five, four in Mr. Pow's favor. Yeah, uh, I, I really hate the input for <laughs> <laughs> yeah, getting that, uh, as you mentioned, definitely wanted the overhead to trigger that ground butterfly, but yeah. alas. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Okay. Nice piece of the M5 right there. Ooh, wow, nice. the, the DP. Yeah, cheeky DP. And another one. There's a reason he doesn't go for EX. He needs to have it at all times. Yep. Unfortunately, not able to get the link right there after that EX, uh, EX Fireball. Ooh. Close. Oh, the, oh, the activation. Okay. Gets tagged, but it's fine. Oh, and the back pro. Oh, Ooh. scary, scary. Oh, I'm no. still getting the EX boot even through the roll, but... No wall bounce. Mr. Pow lives to fight another day. Oh, and this Again. should be it! The no mix up, mix up, gonna build the meter, gets to 100, sets up butterflies instead, okay. not gonna go for the SBA just right. yet. There we go. There it is.
Okay. Big conversion here. In the corner. They didn't go for butterflies, interestingly. Mm. Once again, that EX Pooch is relieving the pressure. Nice defense from Mr. Power right there. But again, just the constant back and forth in neutral between these two. Oh, a little bit too far away there. But this is going to be big. It's crouching. Oh, no. Misses the link. Yeah, again, oh. he's missing out on that link, but doesn't have any cooldowns to really properly capitalize on that. Yeah, didn't even have rush, actually. Mm. So many openings just, you know, at unfortunate timings here for Sonic Sun. Really trying to force it now. Ooh, there's the whiff punish. Clipping the toes, and Mr. Pow, one game away from taking the set here over Sonic Sun. Sonic Sun tried to roll forward, but of course that roll does lose to the 2M. Ooh. Believe in victory. Battle. I imagine this uh, this set has been... I mean, I feel tired just watching this set. I, I yeah. can't imagine how it feels for both of these two. <laughs> definitely. Um, and with how close it's been, you know, Mr. Pow definitely not feeling any type of relief because it's not over. Like, we could easily see free games go in Sonic Sun's pit here. Mm. If that M boot connected right there, that would have been a massive oh. chunk of damage in the corner. And look at all of that. The pick up <laughs> from Mr. Pow getting Sonic Sound all the way to the corner. Mm -hmm. Plus frames from the from the 214H as well. Yeah, the seldomly seen reverse butterfly combo. Really love to see that. Oh, the OD activation coming out from Mr. Pow here. Sonic Sound in a bit of trouble. Good out there. Yeah, finally finding these two H's he's been looking for this entire set. Doesn't Ooh. get clipped as well. Is that going to punish the two yep. H? It does! Mm -hmm. The raw SBA. OD beginning Ooh. to run out and it has chip point now. Auto combo to guarantee the hits there done. The go. chip damage. Very nice from Sonic San. Wow, the pickup of the TK arrow as well. Oh, the empty low finally mixing that in is Mr. Pal. Ooh, the EX knocked down. Ooh, Sonic's not in trouble. Beautiful EX Rising Sword. I'm gonna try and push Mr. Pal into the corner here. Very smart decision there on the 5L. Does not bite. Great timing Ooh. on that rush right there to relieve that oh. pressure. Oh, <laughs> the block on the DP, and that's yeah. gonna be the round for Mr. Pal as a result. And funnily enough, if Sonic Sand hadn't gone over him with the second jump there, Mr. Pow didn't have the meter to actually finish him, I think. Oh, there's the pro. Okay. And back throw. Oh, this is the back throw mm -hmm. this time. Oh, this Nicely. is a big conversion. That's me! Gets the rush, and that's gonna be the game. Sonic wow. can keep himself alive. 6 5. Yeah, uh, this could go either way. Uh, Mr. Pout definitely needs to be sweating right now. Sonic Sun has the momentum. Can he keep it up? Believe in victory. Battle 1. Engage. Okay. Ooh. Oh, gets to count it on the M boot. I don't think he believed in the hit right there, though. Yeah, definitely not. Oh, didn't go for the anti air there, so Mr. Pow did the air arrow a few too many times. Okay, edging in. But Mr. Pow needs to block. Oh, keeping the pressure the up with the rush. Well, okay. I like that hop back while in the corner right there. He knows that Sonic Sand likes to go for that jump back to ready himself mm -hmm. for the jump out of the corner. And Ooh. unfortunate, not able to get the 2H this time. Yeah. Either of the players finally finding an opening. Oh, dude. Oh, no. This is so big for Sonic Sand. That's huge damage. And Ooh, it gets another it. opening into the SSBA. Sonic Sand getting the round. Ooh. Once again, getting to see that peeved Matera face. Yep. 
not happy losing the round like that. I'm sure Mr. Pa was making that same face IRL. <laughs> Oh, EX Rising Sword, well met there by Sonic Sam. Oh, and gets EX Knockdown. Yep, can come the butterflies, gotta be careful of those. Good on Sonic Sam just to block them. Beautiful advance from Sonic Sam, uses a second follow up of the 2 on 4 L Wrecker. And the dash back. Real slow paced round coming out from these two. Neither wants to overextend, knowing the reward that comes out. Mm -hmm. so they're just chipping away at each other ever so slowly. Ooh. Oh, that's oh. big! Yep, huge hit for Mr. Power right there. He gets the EX knockdown with the Grateful and the Butterflies as well. One more opening will do it. Ooh, Sonic's in big trouble, needs to block. Okay, successfully blocking, gets out, and the rush! Not enough to get the KO just yet. You don't want to give Gran an inch, otherwise he may take the mile. Yep, and the chip an range OD. is here. Ah, there we go. The airborne EX Starry Sky closing that round for Pau. And Pau now one round away from taking the set. Not B2M, that's how it starts. Yeah. Steady footies between both of them. Those fireballs. Again, similar to what we saw in the previous round. Real slow paced round coming out from both these two, but that's exactly what Mr. Powell wants, particularly when he's operating at the lead. But that grand boot, the EX boot, is the start of something. Oh, scary situation here for Powell. Oh! oh almost gets a 2H! Oh. That would have been so massive for Sonic Sound if he landed that. Instead, Mr. Powell gets his massive corner combo. Once again, the butterflies are out. Yep. The good blocks. Not able to kill here, but horrible position for Sonic Sound. Sonic Sound just yeah, blocking look. everything. Oh, any hit will kill. Damage. That's the EX Another knockdown. EX boot and the OD! This could be Sonic Sound's round right now if he finds that opening. Good block on the rush, but the throw Ooh, is catch. Oh, any opening now and Sonic Sound wins the round and puts that 6x! No, never mind. That wasn't the opening he needed. Oh, wow, what? a little bit overzealous with the SSB. No way! What? what? No way! Okay, Mr. Pow needs to compose himself because being that close to closing out the set and getting hit by that? Most players. Unbelievable. Most players would be in a horrible mental state right now. That was peak Cocodrilo. <laughs> I don't even know what Mr. Pau did in that situation. Did he try to jump out the corner? Or? No, it, it wasn't even well, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, yeah, because even if he jumped, he would have been able to block that because that's yeah. projectile. But I'm pretty sure it was just a 2L. Well. He was just like, you know, he, he was doing the Abare and it was with a light button, but still got tagged because, you know, mm. Matera. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, we got, but, oh, okay. oh, no extension after the far light. I like the attempt right there. Oh, yeah. That DP is going to take a big punish. And it's crazy, after that initial 7-0, we're getting a set, our first set of Clash of Champions that is going the full distance, yeah. the full game 13. Yep, both players need to leave it all out on the field right now. Oh, there's the rush! Mr. Pau gonna be able to get a corner position here on Sonic Sun. And the rush through the boots, red like a boot! Block so far from Sonic Sam, but he's running low on HP and doesn't have the meter to OD just yet. Oh, the trade, trade comes out in oh, Mr. Powell's favor now, once again, one round away. Oh my goodness. Oh, my. oh, oh my that's goodness, a good indeed. start. What a jump. Oh, that's big. Oh, that is colossal for Mr. Powell right now. Doesn't get the hard knockdown, not able to set up the butterflies, but the OD Ooh. finds his mark, the rush conversion. Full damage coming out from Mr. Power right here into the butterflies, but a beautifully timed roll to get out for Mr. Uh, for Sonic Sand. Oh god. Oh Sonic Sand. He's gonna push in here. Any hit Bottom. now could potentially win the round for him. He gets him already! He gets him already! Oh my god, the final round is here! Woo!
Oh my goodness. Okay, Mr. Power showed such control in the first round and the start of the second round there. He needs to just keep that control. But how can you against the beats unleashed that is Sonic Sand? That is absolutely mad. This is insane. Absolutely. Oh. Okay. Oh, there's the hit. Mr. Power in danger. Corner position. Okay, trying to edge his way or edge Sonic Sand out, I should say. Ooh, gets tagged, but it's fine. There's a big oh. air but no, no conversion. Yeah, committing to that extra follow up from the 2 on 4. That could have been a massive amount of damage, but this is still a great spot for Sonic Sand. Definitely. Oh, good block. The OD is coming out, though. Mr. Power in big danger. Oh, what? what? I can't believe oh, he dared. This man. I can't believe he dared. Oh, no, that's oh, what he wanted. That's going to be it. No, it's no, too far. It's too far. But it's looking real blue. Oh, oh, the OD. Now is his chance. <laughs> Sonic Sad taking the set over Mr. Pow in... Oh my god. I can't even call it a nail biter because it was way too intense. Oh. That set was utterly insane. I, I, don't, I don't even know what to say after that. That was just an incredible performance from both players. It was... Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Uh, man. Uh, shout outs to both players. You know, two very different play styles. Two very different character archetypes. Just clashing there. I really feel like we got to see the utmost strengths of Matera as a character, as well as the utmost strengths of Gran as a character. Um, this was just such an amazing showcase in every sense of the word. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Honestly, I'm still in disbelief for that SSBA at the end of um, yeah. the penultimate game. That was oh. that was such a. Oh. Man, both of these players just so so ballsy with their plays, particularly towards the latter half of the set. You know, they really yeah. went all out. And yeah, so many situations where Mr. Pal dared to press buttons, and you know that one time when Sonic Sun was doing that SSBA uh, was the complete wrong time. A lot of the times, mm. it was the right time. You know. Uh, Mr. Pow conditioned himself into thinking, you know, this is what I should be doing because it's working out, right? Uh, and in that particular moment, it cost him the whole sets. Like, because if he had just blocked right there, he would have won the set 7-5, um, right? I believe. Uh, in yeah, that situation. Yeah. But then, uh, Sonic's on taking that. <sighs> I mean... We can't say it's surprising. It's Sonic Sun. He does this stuff. He is Cocodrillo. We've seen it. But in doing that, in that situation, like, how does he have the balls for this? I don't get it. It's insane. Yeah, absolutely incredible. Oh, my goodness. And this also um, means that Mr. Pow, he was one of the undefeated players going into today. He's no longer undefeated. The only undefeated players now are Swampin and Dragoy. Yep. Yep, and that was, uh, of course, for Sonic San getting that set on the board. Very, very important for him, keeping himself uh, afloat. Even though it was a very close set, it was a set nonetheless. Now yeah. definitely has a chance to, um, you know, put himself properly on the board. Absolutely, yeah. Because, uh, uh, you know, it's a long, long series this is. And, uh, you know... Even though Sonic Sun went into today with a 0-2, he could potentially end it on a 4-2 score. Um, depending on what happens with everyone else, I think it's still possible to get first place with that. Uh, mm. So, we have a lot left. Uh, yeah, I can't wait uh, to see what's coming up, you know? Um, thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, I hope you guys will be back next week. Um, I will say, keep, uh, keep your eyes on my Twitter, because it is possible... That we might start it a bit early next week. Uh, just that one week because of some work stuff I have. I haven't checked with all the players yet. Uh, I need to do that. But I'll let you guys know on Twitter if it's starting at the normal time or a bit earlier. Um, so, you know, keep your eyes over there uh, so you don't miss it next week. Uh, thanks to all the players for the show, of course. And thanks again, Viram, for being here with me. Uh, I, I couldn't think of anyone better to enjoy that set with. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, well, just <laughs> that was, uh, yeah, that was a truly incredible set. Thank you once again, Margin, for having me. Ah, uh, 
No, no, the, the pleasure is all mine. Uh, I love having you on, and man, yeah, I'm so happy we got to commentate that set together. <laughs> oh, okay, I think we all need to calm down a bit after that. Um, before I send you guys over to Swampen, who is currently streaming, uh, I also want to say huge thank you to Cake for setting up the match arena for this event. Uh, you know, you can do exclamation, exclamation, park, match, uh, exclamation point match arena, uh, and, uh, you know, if you have some spare money, you can uh, donate there. The winnings, uh, sorry, the money will go to the players, the top three placers in Clash of Champions. Uh, I am not taking a cut. There's no cut being taken by anyone except the players, so rest assured. Um, on top of the regular prize winnings that are already there. Uh, also, as always, I forgot to say it at the beginning of today, but as always, huge thanks to Seiji for putting together that uh opening video uh together with me uh such an amazing amazing guy he did he did at least 90 percent of the work for that so you know thanks so much and uh yeah hope to see you guys next week i am now going to send you guys over to swampen uh i believe he was streaming and watching these sets as well so you know ask him for any insights about uh what went down and uh yeah thank you everyone and uh, see you guys next week take care